Time is very precious to me. I don't know how much I have left, and I've got some things I'd like to say. And hopefully by the end, I've said something that's important to everyone. I can't help it. Now I'm fighting cancer, and everybody knows that. It isn't. You know what? Nothing's really changed for me. I'm a very emotional and passionate man. I can't help it. That's being the son of Rocco and Angelina Vavano. It comes with the territory. We hug, we kiss, and we love. To me, there are three things we should do every day of our lives. Number one is laugh. You should laugh every day. Number two is think. You should spend some time in thoughts. And number three, you should have your emotions move to tears. Could be happiness or joy. But think about it. If you laugh, you think, and you cry. That's a full day. That's a heck of a day. And if you did that seven days a week, you're going to have something special. In March 1993, former North Carolina State basketball coach Jim Valvano spoke at the first annual ESPY Awards. While receiving the Arthur Ashe Humanitarian Encourage Award, he announced the creation of the V Foundation for Cancer Research, an organization dedicated to finding a cure for cancer. He also announced that the organization's motto would be, Don't give up. Don't ever give up. The next Lombardi by Jim Valvano. I rode up on a plane today with Mike, my good friend and wonderful coach. People don't realize he's ten times a better person than he is a coach. And trust me, he's a great coach. Mike's meant a lot to me these past five or six months with my battle. When I look at Mike, I think we competed against each other as players. I coached against him for 15 years, and this made me think about what's important in my life. And there are three things. Where you started, where you are, and where you are going to be. Those are the three things I try to do every day of my life. When I go up to give a speech, I can't help it. I've got to remember the first speech I ever gave. I was coaching at Rutgers University. That was my first job, and I was the freshman coach. That's when freshmen played on freshman teams, and I was so fired up about my first job. So my idol as a coach was Vince Lombardi, and I read this book he wrote called Commitment to Excellence. Now in the book, Lombardi talked about the first time he spoke before his Green Bay Packers team in the locker room. And they were perennial losers. <laughs> anyway, Lombardi was thinking should it be a long talk or a short talk, but he wanted to be emotional, so it had to be brief. So here's what I did. Normally you get into the locker room, uh, I don't know, 25 or 30 minutes before the game starts, and your little X's and your O's. And then, you give the great Newt Rockney talk. We all do. Speech number 84. You pull them out, and you get ready. You get your squad ready. Well, this was the first one I ever gave, and I read this thing. Lombardi, what he did was, he didn't go in, he waited. His team wondering, where is he? Where is this great coach? He's not there. Ten minutes, he's still not there. Three minutes before his team could take the field, Lombardi bangs the door open and walked in. And he walked back and forth, staring at the players. And finally he said, All eyes on me. And I'm getting this picture of Lombardi before his first game, and he said, Gentlemen, we'll be successful this year if you can focus on three things, and three things only. Your family, your religion, and the Green Bay Packers. <laughs> they knocked the walls down that night, and the rest was history. I said, that's beautiful. I'm going to do that. Your family, your religion, and Rutgers basketball. <laughs> I had it. Listen, I'm 21 years old. The kids I'm coaching are 19, and I'm going to be the greatest coach in the world. The next Lombardi. So I'm pacing outside the locker room, and the coaches tell me, you got to go in. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. Family, religion, and Rutgers basketball. I got it, I got it. Finally, he said, three minutes. So I go to knock the doors open and BAM! I'm on the floor and the players are standing <laughs> on me going, hold the coach up, hold him up. Now I did like Lombardi, I walked back and forth, but then I was going like this with my arm trying to get the feeling back in it. <laughs> and finally I said, gentlemen, all eyes on me. These kids wanted to play. Gentlemen, We'll be successful this year if you can focus on three things and 
Three things only. Your family, your religion, and the Green Bay Packers! <laughs> <sighs> I said that. I did that. I remembered where I came from. So how do you get from where you are to where you want to be? You have to have an enthusiasm for life. You have to have a dream and a goal. You have to be willing to work for it. I urge all of you, all of you, to enjoy your lives and the precious moments that you have left. Spend each day with some laughter and some thoughts to get your emotions going. Be enthusiastic every single day. And as Ralph Waldo Emerson said, nothing great could be accomplished without enthusiasm. Keep your dreams alive in spite of everything. And work hard for your dreams to come true. Now I look at where I am and I know what I want to do. I want to spend whatever time I have left giving. I want to give some hope to others. Martha Ash Foundation is a wonderful thing for AIDS research. Unfortunately, the amount of money pouring in is not enough, but it's significant. But I tell you this, 500,000 people will die this year of cancer. And one in four will be afflicted with this dreaded disease. I'm one of those four. And we managed to push it into the background. I want to bring it back on the front table. Don't give up. Don't ever give up. That's what I'm going to try to do every day that I have left. I'll thank God for the day and the moment that I have. And if you see me, smile or give me a hug, because that's important to me too. But above all else, try to support whether it's AIDS or the Cancer Foundation, so that someone else might survive, might prosper, and might actually be cured of this dreaded disease. I've got one last thing to say. Cancer can take away all of my physical abilities. It cannot touch my mind, it can touch my heart, and it cannot touch my soul. And those three things are going to carry on forever. It's done. Mm -hmm.